Hello everybody, my name is Grimscythe, and welcome back to Battle Chasers. Alright, let's figure out what the glowing portal thing's all about, huh? It is... What? I guess it's just uh, another map? Or maybe there's a teleport. I'm supposing that's probably a teleporter for later. What's this? Drink from the Shrine of Experience? Oh yeah, you know it. Gain more experience from combat. Okay, Ooh, what's this? Blood in the Iron Hills. The hills were a tapestry of green, crusted by golden highlights born of dew and sun. The men gazing on the fields knew this sight may be their last peaceful one. Some looked nervous, others fearful. Most simply acknowledged fate. A light breath of wind threatened to nudge them forward, but neither time nor nature would move them before they were ready. A last stand against destiny. Alrighty then. Nothing over here. Okay. Stop glowing. I've already talked to you. I mean, I've already read you. Alright, so... Move on to <clears throat> next area there. Doo -doo -doo. So over this way, right? In the chest. Materials, okay. Big bodies. Whoa! Ow! Thanks, buddy. Thanks, pal. What's this? As you approach the fountain, a disembodied voice speaks. Care for a riddle, it asks. Um, yeah, here, here's the riddle. Ow. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Gotta deal with this punk right here. Damn it, man. You hit Garrison pretty, pretty bad. I don't like that at all. Not cool, man. Not cool. I just talked about this. I was supposed to be using... Overcharge first before I do that. Whatever. I mean, I got some mana I can get back. That makes sense, though. I mean, if you could just get mana back after every attack like that, it would be way too easy. So I'm going to have to start being more conservative about my heals. I'll see if I got some uh, healing potions, though. Nothing good there. Okay, um, or some mana. Do I have any mana recovery potions? Yeah. Let's use that on, uh, on him there. Just one for now. I might find some source of recovery. Hear the riddle. What is as soft as a feather can cut through rock and always chooses the easiest path? Water. You notice it wasn't the fountain, but a goldfish that was asking you the questions the entire time. My friend, I see great turmoil in your future, it says. You need all the help you can get. It swims away out of your sight. Nearby door opens. Okay. Um, watching the fin fish swim eases your senses and quiets your mind. So, treasure chest. Okay. More goodies. Oh. oh. Another nature's touch and an post tunic. Okay. And more goodies. Got it. Bat in the face. Got it. Gully, defend yourself! I should be telling you that! Alright. Bam! In the face. I'm gonna take this bat out before he gets a turn. Definitely can. I only gotta deal with one of the damage. I don't like quits yet! How much does the heal cost? I don't need it yet. I'm just curious. It takes 15. Okay. And maximum overcharge is, what, like 50, I think? So, just trying to figure out what I should be doing in the future to minimize mana consumption. Of course, I could have waited there and actually got a heal out of that. Again, more learning experience. Uh, okay, some stuff and some stuff and more stuff. Right, what do we got here? 
stuff. History of the Iron Outpost. Growth. The passage appears to be from an old textbook. Shortly after the outpost was complete, the true scale of the mana reserves on the island became evident. Vanceler knew his small outpost would need to grow into a full garrison if his valuable operation was to be adequately protected. Though the name never changed, the Iron Outpost became a massive point of military operations in the area. The halls became vast and winding, taking shape around the nearby foothills, often burrowing through them. The number of soldiers stationed there grew exponentially, and the influence of their population soon became evident elsewhere on the island, as new towns and camps cropped up throughout. The indigenous population was small and still weak from their struggle with Varus, offering little resistance to the change. Cool. I don't have a teleporter. So I'm assuming that is what is usable between here and there when we get the rest of the enemies out of this floor. Or this tile, I should say. Anything here? That's interesting. That really looked like it was something. Can I sneak up on this guy? Boo! Hey! Hey! Well, he's trying to find a friend. He was really trying to find a friend. He's like, man, somebody help me. <laughs> this group is under my protection. You will not harm them. <laughs> you speak big and carry a big stick. No, I mean a big fist. Everybody just use some regular attacks with just one guy. I need like a little bit more of these guys to be killed before we learn about their HP totals yet. Um, so we actually got... I can minimize... Uh, you know what? Let me gut punch one more time. What I'm actually going to do here is defend... and parry. I'm going to actually take this opportunity to use my overcharge to heal... I think? Maybe, maybe it still burns my mana. I'm still trying to learn here. That was a big attack. Way more than I expected. Um... So actually, let's try this. Let's see if this actually... Because it recovered my mana, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure. We'll see. If it burns out of my overcharge, we should be fine. Stop hitting me, you punk. Yeah. So if we come out of here at like... I think it was a 47... 47 mana... We'll have not consumed any actual mana for this fight. Getting pretty close to our next level. Uh, yeah, so 47 mana is perfect. Exactly what we wanted. Alright, so he tried to run away. He's like talking to the fountain. He's like, help me! Anybody in here? What we got? History of the Iron Outpost. Erosion. As... Time wore on, other conflict conflicts around the world forced Vancelar to restructure his allocation of military resources. The Iron Outpost was one of the first major military installations to see dramatic drops in troop numbers. This also coincided with a sudden decrease in the available mana in the area. Many of the mines and wells became inefficient or simply ran dry, making the decision to redirect troops elsewhere an easy one. As this happened, smaller factions began vying for the scraps of mana still available on the island. Cool. Alright, we got another location there. There's a fireball trap. I'm not going to get hit by this one. Oh, I should have tried to get him hit by it. That was my mistake. More of you! Uh, okay. Well then, let's go ahead and... Can we... Ooh, can we scatter shot? Would it hit in time? It would not hit in time. So don't think. I guess we can try. I mean, he may use an ability which will push him off for another round. But he might not eat as well. Now he's by himself. Ooh! Man, that was brutal. Oh well. But ow! 
can probably use this chance to heal again now that we've gotten uh, some mana back. Overcharge. Now you're charging up. Okay. Let's go do a healing wave on... Do it on himself. And I'm going to have you defend. Parry. And of course he went for him. The only person that didn't defend. Which, you know, if you had a choice in the matter, of course that's what you want to do. That's alright. We're going to heal that right up. Pretend like that never happened. And jab you in the face. Boom. Perfect. No mana lost. Came out actually ahead, I think, really. Okay. That right, looking good. One more kill, or one more fight, and we should level up for sure. Alright, what do you got here? So this is that where that trap was. Oh, those are traps. Okay. So we're introducing us to the different traps. We only got one way to go, which is through this gate over this way. So we'll head through there. Oh, you know what? I wanted to check, actually. Let's go back for a second. Let's see if this teleporter is usable now. I believe it was right up here. Yeah. So, I'm assuming this is a teleporter. Let's see. Yeah, so we can teleport back and forth. Makes sense. Don't know why I would need to, necessarily, but it's nice that it's an option now. Sure looks like something I can pick up. All right, I'm guessing the, um, I don't know, I should try this dash attack thing into, like, an enemy or something, if it does any good. I know I could use it, like, for, it's like, guys like this, that are trying to, uh oh. I caught him. Oh, nice. Bandit reports, two of four, more intruders, boss. Two more ships this time from the south, one boat, one airship. Boat sank fast enough, airship got away. Weren't our fault. It was fast. Faster than we'd seen before. Took damage, though. Saw more than a few sorry souls fall overboard during a scuffle. Didn't bother fetching them. They were shark bait after that tumble. Eh. But yeah. It got away. Might get more company around here soon. Assuming the ship can make it more than a few clicks before the last engine gives out. Won't happen again. Gibbons. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, see your fireball. Givens is some sort of man of bandits. Oh man, look at him sneaking around up there. I tried to sneak up on him, it didn't work. You're gonna have to fight him all at once. That's all right. I'm gonna use an interesting fight, huh? That's good, and uh, these guys aren't sneaky guys. I want to take out this uh, this thing over here as quickly as possible. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and parry. I'm parry with him. I feel like they're going to hit him and he's low on HP. We're going to defend here as well. Thanks for the attack up bonus, punk. Let's go ahead and do another punch on this guy. Badow. Finish him off. And after this one, we should have a decent overcharge. No, actually we don't because we didn't use it last time. That's alright. So now we can actually do a... Um, Healing wave, free basically. Which we're gonna do on uh, on Garrison over here. Oh, I almost got him. Oh, he's bleeding though. Oh, he didn't quite die from the bleed. Damn. You are not prepared. <laughs> Thanks for hitting the guy on the healing. Really works out for me. Works just dandy. Get on my face. You'll regret that. Alright, Garrison, I want you to do this Warblade thing. Yeah, this is gonna hurt like hell, let me tell you. Do this. Just because. Now you've been sundered. Sundered from down under. Got mertilated. Didn't think so. 
hero perks unlocked. Oh, what is that? Gotta check this out. Check this book out first, though. Banner reports three of four. Slight exaggeration. Boss, got a problem. An airship got past the patrol. Made it almost to shore, but I can explain. It was fast. Pilot was good. We had the light armada on him, but this wizard. He shot lightning out of his eyes, took half the fleet out in one whiff. We got on board, but one of them cut up about uh, 50 of our men by himself. And there was this kid. What with this glowing gauntlet had strength like we couldn't figure. She punched one of our ships out of the sky by herself. We hit her square with the guns. She just stood there, smiling. We took the ship down over the western shore, but we couldn't find no sign of them. Sure, they're dead, yeah. The fall was impossible. We'll keep an eye out. Please don't send one of them freaky bone men to whoop the guys again. Gibbons. We missed the first uh, part of this, this uh, note here. Hey, what is, uh, is that still there? Oh, I didn't get the box. Okay. Yeah. Excuse me, coming by, coming through. There's another loot box there, too. Okay. Definitely read that one. Do, 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 do. Hi. How you doing? He's got his back turned. This guy's like a boxer, huh? Brawler. Man, I want a brawler. That guy's awesome. I'm gonna be punching people's in the face. That's fine. Alright, uh, looks like since we all leveled... Oh, I forgot to check out that hero perk thing. I'll have to check that out next time. Um, yeah, actually this is good now. So now we can keep our mana balanced instead of just going nuts like I was before. Get that out of the way. I didn't like him anyway. You know, you bandits never do like those guys, do you? But I am. This guy's got some HP, though. Definitely a little tougher. Uppercut. <laughs> I am. Let's see. Is there any point in doing something interesting? Yeah, why not? We'll try. What do you got? You got uh, 18. We could do a Quake Fist. You do a Warblade for free. Somebody do something. Oh, that was sweet. I haven't seen that in a while. Actually, at all. You're done. It's almost a fair fight. Interesting there. Alright, I want to look at... uh got our characters. Is there... Let's see, combat abilities, perks... Okay, so we have zero six points. Oh, six points. Oh, we can spend points. All right, Calibretto, what do you got? Um, do we commit to these? Or are these like, can we just change it at any time? Didn't even know about these things. All right, so let's get these all to stop showing the little exclamation marks so we see. Got a crit chance increase. Increase physical and magical defenses by 4.6. Increase attack power. Stamina. Defense matrix. Grants an extra 5 overcharge when hit. That's cool. Obliterate will now also do bonus damage if the target is ignited or poisoned. Well, that's cool. Man, these are... This is tough. Defense matrix is pretty nice, though. Oh, wait, there's a nature side. Oh, so we got, like, skill trees. Okay. Healing power. Increases the power of heals by 2.1%. Heals self for 37 over 3 turns when struck by a crit. Interesting. So is that automatic? Do I not actually have to do that? Huh. Increased haste by 3.75. That's kind of nice. Why is that not going away? There we go. Haste rank up, so that's a there's a better haste. Haste rank one, haste rank two. 
Preemptive healing heals the most damaged ally for 20 health over 3 turns at the start of combat. That's pretty sweet. That's actually really sweet. If that's automatic, that's really nice. At the end, end of combat, heals the party for 11 health each. Oh my goody. I like that one a lot. We're gonna... Ooh, man, we're gonna do that. I'm gonna take Recuperate. I don't know how I commit to it. I'm assuming it's that way. By st sticking with it? Maybe it's switchable at any point. It looks like it might be. That's cool. We can experiment. Sounds good to me. Okay, uh, let's check out Goalie. Reinforced Knuckles. Increased crit chance. Okay. Haste. Attack power. Critical retaliation. Increased attack power by 25% for action after being struck by a critical hit. Begin battle with 23% haste for one action. That's nice. Uh, scatter shot. Deal an additional 3 damage to the nearby target. A little bit of a bonus damage from Scattershot. Alright, let's check out Guardian. Defensive Fighter. Increases evade chance by 1.05%. Reduces damage taken by an additional 10%. Reduces damage taken from critical hits by 30%. Pretty nice. Increase physical defense by 4.2. Stamina by 4.6. 10% chance that being attacked will award 20 overcharge. So a general, general skill. Okay. Well, haste is pretty nice, but I don't know. Critical retaliation it looks like a passive. Initiative. 23% haste for one action. That's interesting. Man, this is, this is a tough call. There's some good stuff here. I guess since it's not necessarily permanent, I don't still know for sure if this is a permanent choice. It doesn't seem like it is, but maybe it commits after we close the screen. I'm not sure. I think I want to take our armor up. There was, a, was there not a rank 1 somewhere? See here. Oh, that is rank 1. I'm going to take that and maybe stamina. Because I feel like Goalie is kind of our defender. Like, she seems to be the toughest one. I'm going to keep her defensive to this point right now. Alright, and then we got Garrison. Crit up chance, rank 1. Second wind at the end of combat heals Garrison for 16 health. Well, that's kind of nice, so you'd always get a little bit of a heal at the end. Um, increase attack power by 3.75. Start strong. Begin battle with 10% attack power. Crit damage jump rank a little rank one. Warblade raises the amount of overcharge that can be consumed by a warblade from 40 to 80. Wow. Okay, so overcharge can go much higher than I thought. Wanderer, sturdy, increased stamina, parry, increased AP bonus when hit by while parrying by 5%. Serve energy can carry up to 10 overcharge from one battle to the next. Pretty nice. Uh, haste up rank 1. Seize opportunity. 10% chance that any attack will award 20 overcharge. And rally 2. If rally crits, it will award an additional 20% haste, increasing the amount from 10 to 30. Nice. Uh, okay, then. Um, let's see. Well... What do I want to do here? Increase the damage of critical hits by an additional 11.5%. Sounds pretty nice. Attack power is... I'm almost thinking attack power. Serve energy is also my other option here that I'm thinking that would be pretty good. Ace with Seize Opportunity. Eh. I think we can just take the, the AP up. Yeah, we'll stick with that. Okay. That all selected out, I think. Let's make sure that those uh, changes were permanent. Yeah, it looks like it. Well, not maybe not permanent. I think we can still actually switch them. 
seems like. Like, yeah, we can definitely still take them off. Which is cool. I mean, freedom of choice is always nice. A little bit more materials. Oh, is this a crafting station? Oh, heck yes. Alright, we can actually craft some stuff now. Knockout gloves have bonus damage. It reduces our defenses and stamina, though, so it's not necessarily great. Veil Scout Tunic has got... We've already got one of those. That plating we've already got. Post Iron Ring of Blades we've already got. So all these things, we're not really discovering anything amazing here. Um, yeah, so not really anything to actually do here at this point. Uh, we need to find like a um, an alchemy table or something to make more interesting things. Look at all these materials I actually have now. It's amazing. I heard of what I had when I just started not that long ago. So dungeons can be used to get access to the crafting stations. So that's good to know. All right, so... What are, what, are, what are these things? Little exclamations. Something I'm missing with that. I don't know what that is. I don't remember seeing those before on the other on the other areas, unless it's just these things. I don't know. Right then, let's go uh, up to the next point in the map. Kind of a book, okay. And it reports four, four. We'll take care of it. Hey, boss. So we got a few problems. First, at least look. At least a few of the crew from the ship we took out are still alive and kicking. The wreckage on Talon Beach, but no bodies. Jim says he's seen some what look like they've been cutting through patrols on the road. We sent Vok to harm's way, seeing if they were hiding there. The meatball Grimbeard tossed him out by his hair. I haven't heard from him yet. Though I swear for a crazy second I saw their wizard on the deck of our ship. As soon as I seen him, he was gone. Hey, also, one of our ships we shot down recently was our message skiffs, so you probably ain't getting these anyway. Our bad. <laughs> I definitely missed, like, the first piece of lore somewhere. Maybe it's in, maybe that's what these are, is things I'm missing? I'm not sure. I'll have to look into that. He's another teleporter when we get one or something. Go back. See a guy standing over there blocking the bridge. Looks like we got an encounter coming up. Some sort of more important encounter, eh? Well, these were mostly like in good shape at this point now. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy, buddy. Hold there. We will go no further. It can end here if you tell us where your friends are, where our friends are. Dead, certainly. If not, they will be after we kill you. You shouldn't have come here, outsiders. What are we doing this? He's got an automatic attack. Well, look at that guy, man. He's like floating. What? Oh, haha. -ha, we're just getting started. Oh, yeah? You think you're bad? Um, that warden has got some HPs. Um, so that heals us for five each time we receive damage. That's actually kind of nice. I'm take that. Hasted himself up, huh? Alright. Let's do a... I'm gonna do a barrier swing. Check out this bandit gunslinger. Kinda work on that guy. And I'm gonna go ahead and rage wave as well. Damn that poison. Brutal. That's right, that shield at least helped us a little bit. That was actually really good. You see that? Oh man, I counteracted every hit he took. He get he dealt. That was an amazing skill against that. Wow. Alright, um let's go ahead and get some punching on this rope down here. 
guy's doing a uh, something. He's, we don't even know what he's casting yet. Got 10 HP back from from the damage there. I like it. Ah, oh, he's lit by like one HP. He's in his chi. Damage shield and HP regen. Man, that's those heal retaliations are really paying off right now. Let's go ahead and finish this pump off. You'll regret that. Um, so we're actually sitting at full right now. I don't really see a major need for a heal here. I'm going to go ahead and wildfire. We're going to need to deal a lot of damage in a short period of time to take this guy out. He's got a, a regen going. And let's go ahead and... Warblade's not going to be amazing, but it should do some decent damage here. Boom! You're done. A little bit of a heal at the end. Very nice. Sweet. Veil Scout's tunic. Another one. Another Veil Scout tunic. He was blocking the area, huh? All right, well, that allows us freely to move ooh, to a treasure chest area up there. And it looks like maybe a boss area up here. Unfortunately, that is all the time I have in today's episode. As always, thank you everybody for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.